This is BrickFan77, and today we have the LEGO Creator Palace Cinema. It's recommended for ages 16 plus. It's set number 10232, and it has 2,194 pieces. It is 38 centimeters or 15 inches tall, and 25.5 centimeters or 10 inches wide. And it has two levels plus the roof. It's got fabulous exterior details and it is on the Lego Creator Expert line. So now let's go ahead and open up this box. So as you can see, we get numbered bags, two, three, and one. These are the instruction booklets. Here is that iconic red base plate. And there's about 15 bags here. So now let's get started building this. So here is the completed Lego Palace Cinema set. It has very nice details on the exterior and interior. It includes six minifigures and the limousine car. And it had some very nice building techniques. And it was a fairly challenging build. But the directions were very good and the numbered bags helped out tremendously. Let's get started by looking at the car. We have the front headlights and grille on the front. We have the windshield. Now here's two of our six minifigures. We have the car driver and the female girl actor who is going to the uh, cinema. She is sitting in that seat back there and the cab driver is sitting up there. It does have working doors on both sides and here's the back of the car and here's an overhead view of the car. You can see that front detail on the front with the uh, slope bricks there. So overall a very nice polished look on the car. It adds some nice detail to the set that a lot of other modular buildings don't have. Additionally we get a camera guy. He's holding a camera and wearing this hat. Also on the exterior we get two of these silver spotlights and two of these um, gates that are intended to block off people from certain areas and on the front walkway we have these new um, star bricks star plates that are specifically for this set they have a brick inside of a star on them and they're tan colored that's a printed um, brick and new for this set. We also have those on the other side of the set, another spotlight, and a white lamp post. Now also on the front, you'll notice these three movie posters. And they're pretty pretty cool because they say um, Diane Plate with Clark, Clark Brixter in Forever Sorting. Mystery on the monorail and the brick separator. Now, if you'll notice right there, those are the people that designed this set at Lego. And also on the front, we have that iconic palace sign with the light blue and gold bricks, and it has the lights running down the front of it 
And this is all brick built. You can kind of see how it was built. To show the different letters of the word, word palace. And there's some more gold pieces. And also on the front entranceway, we have a couple stickers here that say, starring, uh, Showing tonight, three clicks and a snap, starring minifigure. We also have lights running along the sides and the bottom of this sign. And on the sides here, it says tickets are 30 cents, and it's showing at 2 o'clock, 5.30, and 8 o'clock. We also get these lights on the side of the building, on both sides. And there's a lot of tan bricks, you'll begin to notice, on the exterior, which is a nice color. Gives it a nice polished look, especially with the two different color tan bricks, the lighter tan and the darker tan. Now also on the front entranceway we have two double doors leading into the cinema. And they have golden handrails on them, and they open up like so. And then that is how you access the theater. Now, spinning the set around to the other side, it's pretty symmetrical, except over here, here you'll notice the two ticket booths, which I'll show you the them inside. And out here you can see the little counters and the little slits that people can put their money through in order to get their tickets. Also, you'll notice that a lot of these brick uh, these bricks are used to depict real bricks, and that, that adds some texture to the set, and I really like those bricks. So that's that side of it. On the second floor exterior, you'll see the curved windows. Unfortunately, these don't have windows in them, so but these these do, and it has that nice arch here. And again, those bricks right here. And then behind the sign, there's a 4x2 window of those square windows. And it's pretty much the same thing on the other side. And then the roof is really the um, eye-catching feature of this whole set. It's got the, these special elements right here, and then it's got the dark red and the lighter red bricks along the roof to, to give it kind of like a older style look is what they were trying to do. And then on the front here, we got a, a couple more cool things with these rounded parts here and that element. And then the big tower up in front to give it that grand look that really tops it off. And same design for the roof on the other side. And along the top, there's an access door for the janitor to go in to access the roof. And that leads down into the theater. Now this, this uh, tower up here was a really cool building technique you'll see how to build it if you choose to get this set which I highly recommend that you do but it uses some some interesting ways to build that part there and then let's go ahead and dive into the set we'll take off the first level so as with all modular buildings the floors separate and it has the smooth bricks on the top, allowing it to do that. Probably the first thing you'll notice is this nice staircase that it has. It's actually a spiral staircase in the corner there. And that also used some very cool and new building techniques that I'd never seen used before. To give it that spiral at the bottom there. And then it continues up to the second floor which is where the theater is it also has a plant on that side over there and a few lights on the side 
and then over here is the concession stand with a popcorn machine and some sort of vending machine and then on the inside you can also see the movie posters because you put a sticker on the outer part of the window and on the inner part of the window and then here are the ticket booths with the cash registers and now let's go up onto the second floor of the cinema when you remove the roof from the second floor you can see the six seats that it has in the theater and there is the movie screen that's a sticker with a few golden and red bricks around it those are the curved windows on both sides and then that's the staircase leading up to the roof and in the back you'll see the projector and then when we put that floor back on to the first floor, you can see that the stairs from the first floor lead right up onto the second floor, just like so. So if we spin this set around to the back, you can see that there's a few more of those bricks again with the texture. And then on this side, there's the area that you can connect it to other modular buildings. Now here is the Palace Cinema right alongside the Grand Emporium. And I think both of these sets go very well together because they both have the tan color for the majority of the exterior of the buildings. And that tan color flows well between both of the buildings. They're also pretty similar in height. So that's my review of the LEGO Creator Palace Cinema. Please subscribe for more LEGO videos.